You're coming into the Star Wars galaxy and Lucasfilm is saying, what story do you want to tell? Well, that's a great question. Wow, never thought any anyone was going to ask me what Star Wars story did I want to tell. We were really interested in what comes after episode six, what we've already seen. Because when we started working on this game, TFA was still in theaters. And so we had this gap of about 30 years. We wanted to see where that was going to go and how the galaxy was going to change after Return of the Jedi. We were looking for something that would allow us to step into the Star Wars galaxy in a brand new way and kind of look at it from an angle that we had not experienced before. Seeing the Galactic Civil War from the vantage point of a stormtrooper. There are people in the Empire who were born into it, who grew up believing in its propaganda and actually thinking that this is a force for good in the galaxy, a force that's bringing order to chaos after the Clone War. Coming in where we do in the saga, right at the end of Jedi as the Death Star is being destroyed not as the celebratory moment that we're used to seeing it as. Our characters seeing this, the most epic loss that they can even imagine, and coming at the saga from that standpoint, allowing us to fill in that narrative gap a little bit between Jedi and The Force Awakens, that just seemed extremely intriguing to us. And so finding that avenue through Aiden Verzio, who's the commander of Inferno Squad, has been a joy. I am your commander, stand down! having access to all of the different weapons and gadgets and abilities and vehicles. What we discovered is that the Galactic Empire is very rigid and controlled. As we worked with Lucasfilm, we learned that if you're a TIE pilot, you're a TIE pilot. You're not going to be out on the ground with a blaster rifle in your hand storming the field of stormtroopers. That is the job you will always do until you die. So working with Lucasfilm, we created this concept of Inferno being this elite unit. And so they understood the player fantasy of Battlefront. Uh, it was about versatility, it's about somebody who can be a pilot in the skies and a trooper on the ground and, and know how to drive an AT-AT, know how to drive an ATST. They could be interchangeable in missions and do things that other units wouldn't necessarily be able to. It's about the contrast of these, you know, epic scale kind of galactic events but making it, bringing it down to the personal level and making it, you know, about soldiers surviving these situations. Special Forces. That's the point, Sergeant. PlayStation.